What's up everybody, my name is Carl and welcome to another Ubuntu server tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how to quickly set up a 7 days to die server on Ubuntu server. So let's go ahead and fire up our terminal program and log in. Alright, so first thing you want to do is always do a run a sudo apt get update. Once the update's finished, we need to install some software. If you're running a 64-bit installation, we'll need to run sudo apt git install lib 32gcc1. Uh, this is needed for uh, Steam CMD. Next, we we'll need to install screen. So sudo apt git and Install screen. My installation comes with it pre-configured. Yours might not, so I'll run the command. Install it. Next one I want to do is go ahead and create a new folder for Steam CMD. So sudo mk dir Steam CMD. Go and change over to that directory. CD Steam CMD. We need to download it. So sudo wget http colon forward slash forward slash media dot steam powered dot com forward slash installer forward slash steam cmd underscore linux dot tar dot gc going to do a quick ls to verify the contents so it looks like it's there awesome let's go ahead and extract it by typing sudo tar Dash X V Z F Steam CMD underscore Linux dot T A R dot G Z. Do a quick LS, verify the contents have been extracted properly. So let's go ahead and launch Steam CMD. So sudo period forward slash Steam CMD dot SH. Excellent. So let's go ahead and log in. <clears throat> You'll need to own 7 Days to Die on your Steam account in order to download and run the server application. You can't do just log in anonymous and download it, so make sure you own the account. So let's go ahead and <clears throat> log in. All right, so let's go ahead and continue. Let's go ahead and uh, force the uh, install. So force underscore install underscore dir. I'm just gonna go ahead and just do period period forward slash seven d two d d t d sorry uh, seven days to die. Press enter. I'm gonna do the install. So app underscore update. It's gonna be two nine four four. Two zero, <clears throat> then validate. Once the app is finished, download and go ahead and quit. Steam CMD. Let's go and change to our directory. So cd uh, dot dot forward slash seven dtd. Now we want to go ahead and make a startup script. So sudo vim startup sh. Go ahead and press insert. We're gonna go ahead and type in the following. It's going to be a period slash forward slash seven days to die dot x86. Now this x86 is for the 32-bit users. If you're a 64-bit user, you want to go ahead and add an underscore 64. So x86 for 32-bit underscore 64 for 64-bit users. Negative config file. So config file equals server config dot xml space dash log file 
space. Seven days to die underscore data forward slash output underscore log dot txt space dollar sign at sign. Go ahead and press escape colon wq and enter. Now we need to change the uh, permissions of that new script, so sudo ch mod space plus x startup.sh. Quickly do a quick ls. You should see that the startup.sh is green. Uh, you need it to be green if it's red. It didn't, the permissions didn't attach to it. So the final thing we need to do is actually launch the server. So let's go ahead and open up our screen. So type in screen. Uh, dash negative s 7 t d t and then let's go ahead and start the server so sudo period forward slash startup dot sh and that is it the server is running we can go ahead and press control a d to detach from the window the server will run in the background. To reattach the window, just type in screen, negative R, dash R, 7 TDT, DTD, sorry, and then it'll reattach to the window. You can just detach it again. You'll need to attach it to the window. Otherwise, if you close the terminal, the server will crash. Uh, you'll need to port forward 26900 UDP in order to uh, have the server online for other users to connect into it. And uh, yeah, guys, that's really all there is to it. If you enjoyed the video, show me leave me a like. If you want to see more tutorials in the future, subscribe. If you have a, 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 a suggestion for a future tutorial, leave it in the comment section below. I I will see what I can do about your suggestion. And uh, yeah, guys, I hope you enjoyed it. And um, this 7 Days to Die will be coming to CentOS 7 as well as Windows in the future. So watch out for those videos if you do not have Ubuntu. And uh, yeah, guys, I'll see you guys in the next video.